What kind of nerd venture do we have in store for us today? We are here at Antioch Motor Speedway, which is, I don't know, half mile, quarter, three quarters of a mile dirt oval track where we're going to be doing giant drone racing this evening and this afternoon. We're in, the, it's like, I don't know, 3.30 and I think we're due up in a couple hours. So we're here nice and early in the middle of the track and it'll be a full evening of drone racing, giant drone racing, Mega Class, formerly known as X Class. I'll be up in the tower up there behind myself doing announcing today it's going to be rad so we'll uh try to get some action and share this adventure with all of you do a pan around here we're in the middle of the antioch motor speedway and the racers are going to be stuck down here all night while the racing action is going on i'll be up in the tower over there in that little house in the middle in the ac hopefully but these guys will be down here putting on a show this evening in the middle of the full-size racing so there'll be sprint cars and late models and stock cars and min minis out here and then giant drones racing overhead it's a couple be hours from the start of the nonsense they're going through fail safe checks channel assignments these these guys for some reason are having like some sort of weird team meeting their tent's so low that i can stand up next to it and i'm still like way taller than it it's ostrich air guys a bunch of kooks <laughs> but uh they're going through all the pre-checks right now and then I'd say a couple more hours before we get to get on the track and do anything. So we got a bunch of time to kill, but don't worry. It'll get exciting. There'll be race cars out. So he's doing a little uh, pre-flight check. They're checking fail safes, making sure channels are right, milliwatts are right. So there's VTX power they have to set and they have to set their uh, RC link control system. Most of these guys are running Crossfire, which is adjustable, so they have to set those to the right things. And what they do is they arm it, they turn off the radio and make sure that it doesn't take off or do anything awesome. <laughs> So he's checking everything and he's a good distance away because in case that thing freaks out, you don't want to be anywhere close to it for the most part. It's all bad. I'm standing downwind as a mistake. All right, action's starting to heat up a little bit. There's about, I don't know, an hour before kickoff. Fans are starting to roll in. They're doing more prep to the track. They've been out there with this water truck putting water into the track because, I mean, that's what you do. Antioch Speedway, and it turns out it's a uh, three-eighths of a mile. All right, so cars on the track, and they're, they're doing what they call packing. The track's soaking wet right now, all muddy, and they go out and they run the first couple classes around real slow to pack the track in and get the mud kind of into dirt, and they just kind of cruise around at a slow speed like this. And they do, they get all the cars out there as part of the process of getting the track ready, so what happens is they got a they got clean cars when they show up they go out during packing they get covered in mud and they got to go back in the pits and clean all that mud off the cars because it weighs them down i only know this because i've been in the pits through some of this in weeks past they're still packing the dirt in and uh it's still pretty muddy i don't know if you can see in the video or not but as they come by they're throwing dirt chunks and marbles out over the height of the fence that's in front of us and the fence is like a 10 15 foot fence and they're like idling along throwing that much roost out like watch if you look in the shadows over there i'll try to zoom in that's a ton of roost and basically they're going to keep doing this and, until usually that stops happening but look at all that roost that's some roost <laughs> I just hit the wall. He's okay. So they got the track packing done and now they're doing what's called hot laps. 
and it's a shakedown run, so all the all the racers get to get out there and run a couple laps under at speed to get a feel for the track and pack it in some more. I want to hand things over to uh, Charlie Schweiker for the first heat races for the Mega Class Drone. Mega Drone Racing taking the track there. They're moving themselves into position now. The copters are at the ready. It'll be a rolling start. So you'll see them start to spin props. They'll pop up in the air. They'll move down the back straight. We'll be going green flag racing as they come down the front side. In case you're curious how we score them, it's magic. We have a, a little box that picks up their frequencies and it runs to a tiny computer that gives us laps and times and does all the magic that normally a person will have to do is we are off and flying now, leading them gingerly through the first lap. Going to be SFPD himself with those purple lights down the back straight with some authority. He's already coming around three and four now, like a shot. Lap number one looks to be a 12.9 that time ride. That is a hot lap for a race leader with the purple lights lapping traffic already. You see him nose to tail on the front side, leader moves to the inside. Traffic gives them some space. Tertola already completing lap number three. The rest of the field finishing lap one and a half. So our leader with those purple lights right now looking to set the top qualifying time to beat. Wants to start from the one spot in our A final. Breakneck speeds as Randy Mood checks in with a 15 flat. Lock away with a 14A, 14.5 for two students. And SFPD beating the minimum lap time going 12.9. And that looks like a wrap as they got one down on the other side of the water truck. Everybody else is finishing their pace laps as compared to SFPB's qualifier laps. Couple more still in the air. We got the black copter bringing it in now. One in the dirt on the backside with a smooth and gentle landing. And they are wrapping it up now with SFPB going to set the early time to beat. Hey, Charlie. Yes, sir. Just to let you know, on my unofficial top watch, the fastest lap I had for him was 134 plus miles an hour average. This time they're doing the whole track, so I'm pretty sure we're pretty close to your guys' actual mile an hour. So that's some real fast drone racing right there. You can tell these are uh, professional RC nerds. They don't move fast. Physical activity is not their thing. They can solder and sit in a chair all day long. We are smooth and easy down the back straight. Coming around three and four now, green to five, waving this time by there on the gas now. And that is Nemo FTV and that wider than it is long, ostrich air copter. John Geithner in that big spot. Oh, we got one down with authority. He made, he made a dirt splash on the far side, and that is not what they wanted. Those are all one-off copters, so the team will be hard at work trying to get Mewo back in the air for our main event. But right now, looks like Geyser was at the front for just a moment. They got some screaming meanies down the front straight. Geyser letting it loose now as he stretches out a bit of a lead. See him backing her down now. They do have data in their goggles letting no voltage and amperage, so they're trying to keep these things alive throughout the evening. Guys are going tight through one and two and realizes that's all the laps he needs to do. He's going to bring it in for another pro landing. Maybe. Eventually he'll land, I swear. Right about now. Oh, and I swear. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for our qualifying round. Give it up for our drone pilot. Making some magic happen, breaking some conquers, smashing some batteries, that's what we like to see.
that's just the first heat in action. That that is rowdy. I love it.
on here for Ostrich FPV. Our A final is at the ready. They're moving into position now. The Ferry FTV is going to have the pink props, and he's got eight of them. SFTV is going to have some uh, blue lights on there. And Curious Mentions himself will likely be the one that can't see it all. They're taking a deep, calming breath. Because you guys are the most people that these pilots have ever flown in front of. So let's add a little bit of pressure, folks. Can you do me a favor? Make a little bit of noise. Cheer these guys on. Thanks again. 